Welcome back to another video for our Hero Maker app. In this video, we're going to create a class that will have all the properties of the uh, hero's attributes. So let's keep this uh, form on the screen and create a new class. So let's go into our Hero Maker project, choose Add, and let's go to a new class. Our class name is Hero, and he is selected as a class. So just think of all the properties that are in the form, and we will just duplicate them over here. So the first property is going to be a Boolean, uh, an array of special abilities. And so we'll have eight different special abilities, all true, false. So the second uh, property of our object is going to be a list of type string. And remember that that was the office locations. So the third property is going to be his preferred transport. And so I believe we used a string to save the results of what the selection was. So the next three properties are all integers. It's going to be speed and stamina and strength. So the next three items are all going to be in the format of date time. So the first property for date time is his birthday. And then the second date we selected was the superpower discovery date. And then the third is some fateful day in his life. So the next item is going to be his years of experience. So the next is his cape color. And, and I believe that the uh, color uh, property is stored as a string. We'll do the uh, integer for the dark side propensity. And lastly, we'll have the portrait photo. And so all of these are the properties of one of our hero. It seems to me that I've forgotten actually the first one, which is his name. <laughs> so we might as well do that one too. Okay, so now we've got ourselves all the properties. So I believe the uh, object here needs to be set to be a public, publicly accessible item. So public hero class. Okay, so I've got all of these uh, properties. Now I would like to create a constructor. So we could create a constructor manually. There's a shorter way, fortunately. We can select all of the properties that we've created, and I'm pressing Control and period on my keyboard. And now it says, uh, would you like to create a constructor? And I certainly would, so I'm just going to select the first choice. And you can see that the new hero constructor has been made. So let's expand this. It'll be a little easier to see if we have a wider screen. So this line up here is the constructor that takes all of the uh, properties in parameter format. And then in the constructor, it assigns them. So I'm going to bring this back to normal size now. So when we double click on our create hero button, we would like to create a new, const uh, new hero after all of this work has been done. So let's go down to where we're creating all this status, status message. Where did we go for that? There we go. So just at the message box. We're going to make a new hero. So he's going to be a hero, and we'll call him little hero equals a new hero. And now we need to have all of these properties. Okay, so it's time to create the uh, hero with his parameters. Let's start with name. Did I create an actual variable for the name? Let's scroll up to the top. And let's see. So I did not actually pull out the text name from this thing. So let's, uh, let's put that in first. So at the very beginning, I'm going to create a string for his name. So I hover, up the, uh, hover over the hero, and it tells me what I need to get for the uh, hero stuff. So I think I have something called hero name. Let's see, hero name is there. And let's see what's next is abilities. So what did I create there? Let's type abilities. I have two choices. One's called abilities and special abilities. I think abilities is what I named the variable. And office locations, I believe is called cities. There it is. So if you name these things differently, that's fine. Uh, transport, what did I name for transport? Uh, Preferred transport. I have two choices there. One is a local variable, which is a string. That's probably the right one. The next one is speed. So let's see, try speed. That seems to be the right one. 
stamina looks like it's an integer and the other is a strength good we got that okay the birthday so what did I do for birthday I have two choices I need a variable and let's see let's try that one birthday that works the next one is discovery of superpowers let's see superpower discovery which one is which let's go with the first one it says that's the local variable okay the next one is a fateful day so let's try fate and let's see local variable once again years experience experience is this guy right there parameter no local variable yes okay so I named these things but I kind of forgot what they were so I'm guessing on a few of these cape color let's see do we have anything that has cape we do have cape and dark side dark side propensity there we go so the last one is a portrait of the photo and I think it was called picture something picture of hero good okay so I got a couple of issues cape color color doesn't seem to be the right one what did I use for that uh, right here it said oh I just used the entire item for, let's copy that then and put that over for cape color picture and what's wrong with years of experience okay so it says we are trying to convert from a decimal to an integer uh -huh. so let's change the actual property here of our years experience and change it from a integer so let's go look for years of experience in this guy and let's change it to a decimal there we go and we'll have an error coming up at the top likely so the integer years experience will also have to change to a decimal and let's see what happens now on our form creator oh look at that all of the errors have gone away perfect okay so now we should have a new hero object when we're done let's just test it to make sure that it all still works so we still got the same message here but we'll be able to pass our hero object onto another form and be able to display it there so That'll be in another video.